The new chimpanzee at the Ngamba Island Sanctuary is about two months old now. It was born in the wee hours of the 27th of March. The caretakers found a group of female chimps fighting over the baby. It was a good thing that the mother did not give birth to him in the forest, yeah, but in the holding facility. So there was a scramble for him, you know, and uh, in the process he got injured. One of the baby's arms was broken and it also sustained a deep cut on the head. He was failing to breathe properly. The best decision was to take off the baby, nurse him to that point when he will be strong enough to be integrated back to the mother. The chimp's mother, Africa, was rescued from traffickers when she was about two years old. Some businessmen had hatched a plot to ship her out of Uganda, but their plan was foiled. Africa was saved and brought to Ngamba. Now she is a surprise mother. In 2014, we got her put on the contraceptive implant just to try and avoid any incidences of her getting pregnant because the sanctuary is really a small place. If we encourage breeding here, reproduction, then we'll run out of space and if there's any rescued one, we wouldn't have anywhere to put them. The caretakers ensure that Africa is allowed time with her baby as much as possible. But when she can't be with the baby for one reason or another, the little chimp has an alternative. This adoptive parent has grown so attached to the baby that she has given time, her heart and resources to ensure it is comfortable. I incorporate every day something I imagine and I observe what the mother would be doing. Back home in the U.S., she is a clinical psychologist. She says her undergraduate studies focused on primates and she has been a volunteer here for the last five weeks. She does not have children of her own. I've experienced what my friends have told me about having children and that is being up at all hours at, <laughs> at any time of the day or night. But she appreciates that the chimp will not remain in close contact with her and other caretakers. She knows that when the chimp clocks three years, it may not be as friendly as it is now. You have to constantly be aware that this is a baby chimp. It's not a, b a baby child. She speaks of him as a mother would her own son. I then wonder why a wild primate is being treated like a human baby, showered with toys, given milk and dressed in diapers. He doesn't have his mother to hold on to. If he holds on to us, to me, it's clothing or it's hair. So in order to keep from your hair falling out or your clothes coming off, he's got something to hold on to. By all standards, if this, was a, this would be the most expensive, one of the most expensive Ugandan babies. Uh, correct. <laughs> Won't somebody think that this is domesticating it? Because ideally in the wild it would not be getting. Well, the, the baby for circumstances does not have its mother. So now we are its mother until the baby is reintegrated back with his mother. We're going to give him the comforts that the mother would. Maybe it's not the blanket, but it's warmth. But even as we chat, it is clear that she would rather be holding the chimp and tending to it. Some chimpanzees are brought to the island when they already have names. Others are given names by the caretakers or circumstances determine what names the chimpanzees are given. But for this baby chimp, the sanctuary authorities would like to open it up and allow their partners to play a role. We will have a set of names that uh, we will have voted for. But the voting will have to come with some support for the, for the baby. Their prayer is that this little male chimpanzee grows to become the alpha male at the Ngamba Island Chimpanzee Sanctuary. Josephine Karunji, NTV.